Hi, I'm Alan Redinger. I'm going to show you how to work with a raw whole artichoke. Most people have only seen them marinated in a jar or maybe on their pizza or like I did as a kid, the people would cut the top off and then boil it or steam it and then you would tear off a leaf and dip it in butter and scrape it off with your teeth. There are many other ways to use an artichoke, which I discovered when I went to Italy. I'm going to describe three of my favorite ways to use an artichoke. There are, you can use the bottom, just take off all these leaves and take out the choke and use just the bottom. Cook it and then you can stuff it with other things as an entree. It's very elegant. Or uh, as a puree, cook the, just the bottom and then when it's very tender, blast it in a food processor with a little oil. Beautiful. That was my son's first solid food. Can you believe that? And the other thing you can do is take the bottom and cut it into little slivers, little wedges, and then saute them, add a little white wine, a little salt. But first I'm going to show you how to attack the artichoke itself. The first thing you have to do is take off the outer leaves. They snap right off. It's, very, it's a raw food, so it just, be, just take them off like this. They snap right off and just keep taking them off just like this. And you'll see there's a white flesh underneath. That's what we're aiming for. You don't have to be shy. Just pull them off just like this. Can you hear them snapping? Just like that. And you're going to keep going until they come off so easily that you can tell that they're very tender. Okay, we're getting close. There we go. The next thing you want to do is rub the surface, all the exposed surfaces, with a lemon. This is going to keep them from turning black or brown. Just keep doing that. Okay, then if you want to, you can cut this part off first. If you were going to make puree, you would only carve off this part, which I'll do now. So you take the, a very sharp knife and just try to take off only the green part. This is all very good stuff, so you don't want to overdo it. Just take off only the green part. That's the tough part, the fibrous part. And then just peel down. Some artichoke stems will have a very thick core, which has the same flavor and texture as the top. So you don't want to waste any. Some have a very thin one, which is kind of a, difficult to tell until you get in there. But you want to save as much of that as you can because it is delicious. Just like that. Peel it off. And you can see where this is actually very, very thin. Not really worth keeping. I'm going to save that, but that little bit there. Okay. And again, rub it with cut lemon. Keep it wet. Like that. Now, if you were going to use this as uh, to make uh, a mousse, you would just cook this whole thing like this. Put it in boiling water and cook it. And then this part would just slide right off. And then you would scoop out the choke. You don't want that hairy stuff that's inside. And then this would be very soft and you put that in a food processor and whip it. Next thing, if you're going to use just the bottom, what you will do is you'll cut, you see this? Cut it right where the, where the light part starts to turn dark and you can see the, the sinews there. Use a nice full sawing motion so you don't break it like this. And again, rub it with lemon. Constantly rub it with lemon. And this part will have to come out. So if you're going to use the, the bottom, as, as like I said, as, as something to, to stuff, you would use a spoon to scoop that out. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. And again, be careful to rub that with lemon. Every time you expose an area, you're going to want to rub it with lemon to keep it from browning. And as you see this, this hairy part, that's really not any fun to eat. So what you do is you take the knife and you just kind of slide it right at the, along the edge and cut those little fibers out. Just like this. And you can kind of feel with the tip of the knife where it's touching the, the flesh of the artichoke and just kind of work it out. Don't be in a hurry because you don't want to waste any of that wonderful flesh. And just pull these pieces out. You can pull a few of those inner leaves out if you have to, but try to preserve them because they're very tender. This is a labor of love, working with artichokes, no doubt about it. But the payoff is incredible. It's good to have handy a bowl with a little lemon juice so you can rub it in there. And then just take a look and make sure you didn't leave any of those little hairy pieces. And it looks like I got them all. So you put this one in the, in the lemon juice. There's a seed in there. 
and then go to the go to the other one. You'll get really good at this as you practice. At first, it's very daunting, and you might think, "Oh, I don't know if I want to do that." But when you have a freshly sautéed artichoke, there's nothing in the world like it. And there are all kinds of things you can do with an artichoke. Once you've gotten the choke out, all you have to do to get those segments is just with a paring knife cut these pieces just like this. And they have this fancy little curly leaf on the end. Makes it kind of attractive. Try to cut them as uniformly as possible so they cook evenly. And these will cook very quickly, just about 10 minutes. Can you see how that would that bottom would make a nice receptacle for something? Nice. Just like that. If you work quickly, they won't turn brown. And then, and then toss them with the lemon juice. Coat them. You'll want to use them fairly soon after this because even with the lemon juice, they will begin to turn a little bit. Beautiful little things, aren't they? So I hope I've demystified the artichoke for you. Now when you see it in a cookbook and some recipe, you'll know exactly what to do.